Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Ah, <sighs> abdominal pain. The bane of every pediatrician's existence. Most tummy aches are self-resolving and non-life-threatening, but what makes abdominal pain such a, well, pain, are the rare occasions when it's actually serious. In this sketch, we'll cover the most common life-threatening causes of abdominal pain in 0 to 1-year-olds, our neonates and toddlers. This also happens to be the perfect age for being a baby boss. Which is why we're here at the headquarters of Blockchain, the latest Silicon Valley startup where it seems playing with blocks all day results in astronomical sums of money. But like all companies seeking unicorn stickers, or er, status, the stakes are high for this team of experts. Just look at the nerves getting to this baby boss during a venture capital pitch. He probably should have skipped the all-you-can-eat sushi buffet line at lunch. In addition to bilious emesis, watch out for abdominal distension and bloody stools. Since babies can't verbally express pain yet, it's important to check for these signs and symptoms that indicate a bigger problem is brewing. One very scary cause of abdominal pain in neonates is necrotizing enterocolitis, aka neck. Neck is a syndrome of ischemic bowel necrosis, represented by this necroskull shirt. Signs and symptoms of neck include abdominal distension, feeding intolerance, bilious emosus, ahem, <clears throat> emesis, and bloody stools. While this young hacker rocks out to death metal tunes, consider this tiny, prematurely hatched egg, a reminder that the vast majority of infants with neck are premature. That is, born before 32 weeks of gestation. Most cases occur in very low birth weight infants. If you suspect neck, order a plain abdominal x-ray. Clearly, that cloud is a sign. On imaging, you're looking for pneumatosis intestinalis, or gas bubbles in the bowel wall, just like these bubbles trapped in the window. It occurs due to gas-producing bacteria. Another life-threatening cause of abdominal pain in young infants is malrotation with valvulus, which is twisting of the bowel mesentery on itself due to failure of normal embryonic gut rotation. This can lead to bowel obstruction, ischemia, and even necrosis. And in case you thought making balloon animals was easy, think again. During episodes of valvulus, patients classically present with abdominal pain and bilious emesis. When the bowel untwists, Patients return to normal, leading to the cyclic nature of symptoms. If only our baby boss could have a second shot at that knotted mess of a balloon animal. Maybe try rotating it in the other direction? Er, the other direction. If you suspect malrotation with valvulus, order an upper GI contrast series. This will show an abnormal orientation of the duodenum with the small intestine remaining on the right side of the abdomen and failing to cross the midline. Sketchy's recurring symbol for contrast is the yin-yang, which you'll notice is the logo on the handles of that kombucha keg. And our baby boss here is enjoying his fermented tea with his favorite swirly intestine straw. Oh, the office perks of a startup. If only the retirement benefits were better. <laughs>